Good morning, I'm Kalina Estrinos, and right now in your 13 Action News update, a woman is behind bars this morning after barricading herself in a local convenience store. Police say she was threatening people with a needle and a knife. This happened near Decatur and Tropicana around 8.30 last night. Metro says everyone in the store was able to get out, but the woman refused to leave for hours. SWAT was also called to the scene there. Police say she was taken into custody without any incident. Police right now across the valley are wanting to cut down on racing on our roadways. Metro now launching a new initiative called Racing Apprehension and Intervention Detail, or RAID for short. Police say they're using technology to identify cars caught in street racing or doing donuts in intersections. Police say the team has already made some arrests, also towed some cars, and they're also sending information to insurance companies, which could drive up prices for people who are caught. Today is Ash Wednesday. For those that observe, a local church is offering up ashes to go on the strip. Christ Church Episcopal is putting on the event for the fourth year in a row. They'll be on the sidewalk just south of the Mirage giving blessings. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent. That is a 40 day season of prayer, fasting and repentance, and it all leads up to Easter. Justin. <laughs> Lena, thanks so much. We've got a picture perfect Wednesday afternoon. Some increasing high clouds, but it will be calm and it's going to be awfully warm or mild here for early March. Temperatures well above average. We're looking at numbers in the upper 70s during the tail end of the afternoon. This evening, still plenty of high clouds in place. We'll cool down through the 60s with lows in the low 50s. Breezy and mostly cloudy, but even warmer at 80 tomorrow. If we get there, it'll be for the first time this year. That's all gone though. Kalina Friday through the weekend. We We've got a big cool down with lingering breezes, even a rain chance Friday into Saturday. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, Justin, thank you. And you can always get the latest news at KTV.com, our KTV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.